Hi guys, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back with yes one more again. One more Juvia's Place palette. We're going to be reviewing and a tutorial of the new taupe palette by Juvia's Place. It's the little mini palette, of course. So before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly doing things. And don't forget to leave a comment below and hit the notification button while you're down there as well. So guys, let's get right into this tutorial. This one was, it was interesting. It was interesting, that's all I'm gonna say. Welcome back guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial because I surely actually did. It was a, an adventure trying to see what I wanted to play with, but it, I feel like it came out pretty pretty good. So this palette again, like the others, this retails for 14 bucks. Again, use your little coupon, get your little points off. And the back again says a sleek, beautiful and hand-picked topes to create a beautiful look. Again, on the packaging they have the scissors and I like their lipstick in here. It's like a gray, goldish kind of lip gloss looking like and then of course it has an inside colors and then all the things on the back this one actually out the whole bunch i did not want this palette at all that's the only juvia's place palette i've ever seen that i was like i i don't know i don't know about that but i said it's juvia i have to try it i really want to see how she does topes because if anyone i'm gonna say this right now my channel <laughs> if i'm gonna say it every single time there's some kind of taupe i hate taupe i hate it I don't know why it's even invented. I don't even know why that color exists. I hate taupe. I don't get it. I'm not cool toned. I guess maybe that's why I'm just like, oh, I hate it. I just never have liked taupe. So every time I see taupe, I'm just like, sure, whatever. But I just, it completely just flies right over my head because I just don't see it. I'm like, what's the point of it? It's washed out and dingy. Like Dusty Rose is pretty. Like the mauve, those, I can work with those. But the taupes, I'm like, it's just dusty and ashy. I just can't work with it. I had to see how a black woman does it because I really, I was like, well, let's see how this taupe comes out. Cause I know there's girls that are brown and it's cool toned or they're like very neutral or very light, sometimes washed out colors. I like the light washed out, rosy, other pastel colors. I just don't do taupe. So this was an adventure at first. I was like, what am I gonna do? It's gonna be a washed out, ain't gonna show up on me. But I was pleasantly surprised and I don't know why, cause it's Juvia's place. It's gonna show up on me, of course. 
I was trying a different look at first and then I thought, you know, I really want to mess with that gray. I think it came out really pretty. Um, I haven't done like a little winged kind of cut, cut out wing like this in a while, but it's very pretty. Out of the favorite colors that I love is actually, is actually, I like just the shimmers in this palette. This shimmer and this shimmer was very beautiful. This matte actually is really good. That's what I put in the um, tear duct part right here. Sometimes I like doing that. Instead of making the inner corner sparkly, I like to make it matte and like one bold color. I like to do that sometimes. So especially when the colors are kind of like smoky like this or kind of washed out, I like to do that a lot. Kind of adds that dimension because usually this is all, you know, kind of crazy going on or trying to smoke it out and then you just make it lighter when it goes further in your eye. I like doing that. This palette is cute. Like I said, it's not my cup of tea. I don't like the color story. I don't like taupe. I just, I just don't like taupe. But is it pigmented? Of course. See, look how those look. They look really, really good swatched on through your finger, but with a brush, it's not so much easier. Again, I want it to be silky and kind of like, I'm so used to that ColourPop Super Shock feel. I really like that. But this palette is a very neutral, everyday light. You can smoke it out like this if you like. I think it's a very subtle, simple look. People that like those very neutral, especially if the person is neutral and very um, cool undertone, they'll love this palette, they'll love it. I'm more warm to a little bit neutral, but mainly I'm like warm golden and then a little neutral. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh, sorry. You know, it, just, <laughs> it doesn't hit it for me. But of course, Juvia's Place so is good quality, it's affordable, of course. I just don't like taupe. I don't like the colors. Now I'll, I'll mess with gray. That's why I had to touch that gray in the center right here. I just, I had to, I like me some gray. Gray is funny. I hate taupe, but I like gray. Don't ask me, I don't know. Those washed out taupes like that, mm, mm, mm. I, I can't, I can't get into, I never could. I mean, can I get a look out of it? Look, as you can see, yes, but I just, I, mm. It wouldn't have been a palette if they told me you gotta pick one palette out the bunch. I wouldn't have even looked at that palette. Ain't gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I was like, it's Juvia's place. I have to add it. I just have to try it. Have to see how she does topes. Now, my opinion is this is a very pigmented palette to me. The grays, the shimmers, all that, very pigmented. Now, the only thing I had a problem with this palette is this color right here. Like I said, I did use on my inner tear duct, but I tried to use in the back to blend out the gray at first. And it just didn't, mm, mm, mm. y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that part. I was like, ah, mm, this, ain't, mm, this ain't cutting it, Chief. I, it's not getting it. So I just went straight to just the gray. So I don't like doing that. I hate doing that. I want to be able to touch every color and it works. So I didn't have my Morphe concealer on, but I never have to do that with Juvia's like that. I mean, I did it with the shimmer because I just wanted to. I just wanted some extra cut. I didn't want to start blending the gray and the, um, my warm color tones, just skin tones uh, concealer. This color. She's never gonna get touched. I'm sorry. I, I hate that color. I hate it. Mm, I, mm, I hate it. I'm too warm, too neutral. I, I don't I don't like it. I don't I don't hang with her. She ain't cool with me. I sorry. I just I don't like that color in any palette. It just ain't for me. Is this a beautiful, good quality palette worth $14? Yes, it most definitely is. If you like anything very neutral, I would definitely go with the Topes palette. Now, if you want color, pops of color, you really, really are bright go with the sweet pinks. If you want something that is more, it's like a little cool, like a dusty rose, more calmer, but it still has that little pop of color, go with the mauves. So all of them give you your variation of what you're looking for. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and the tutorial, cause I'm gonna have more coming, cause Juvia, she got 10,000 palettes and I got every single one of them. Again, guys, thanks for watching me, which is Nelly doing things. And don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And as well, tell me which one that you like the most. Did you like topes? Did you like mobs? Did you like pinks? Do you like any other ones? The mini ones came out before that. And don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So you can see when I pop these up, because I keep popping these left and right. Julia, keep coming. Keep giving them to me. Give me more. Watch me. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Bye.